Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I am on the road to the perfect ROM. And the ROM that I'm on now is a pure Nexus ROM. And in case you guys missed it, I showed you how I installed the ROM and all the features and all that stuff, right? Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be doing the review of a pure Nexus ROM. I've been using it for the past 2-3 to three weeks now. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about all the good stuff that I loved and some of the stuff that I didn't, alright? So to start off, I'm going to do the cons first and then afterwards I'll do the pros, alright? When I take things off, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the battery life. Now the battery life isn't too too bad, but honestly it's not impressive at all. I spent about 4 hours off charge and I had 30% battery life. Now those doesn't seem to be working or it's not working as effective as it should. For example, last night I went to bed around 4 o'clock, woke up at 8 and I lost 6% battery life just doing nothing, alright? Now the second thing on the con list is definitely app crashes. This thing force closes a lot on various different apps like Mortal Kombat, the Nice app. And I know it's not the app that's causing it, it's definitely the ROM, right? And I know it's one of those things for some people, it's definitely a deal breaker, right? Now the third thing on this con list is that the ROM has no way of updating itself, right? Normally on stock ROM, you can go to the system settings, check to see if you're updated to the latest version and update from there. Likewise with Lineage, they had weekly updates or bi-weekly updates and you could just check to see if you're on the latest one and all that. With this, it definitely has no way of telling you if you're on the latest version or provide a way for you to update to the latest version. Alright, fourth thing is that this ROM has no tap to wake feature. It's seen on a lot of other ROMs but for this ROM, it doesn't have it and I have gotten used to it. So if that's something that you look forward to, then this ROM definitely doesn't have it, alright? Also, I feel like the ambient display doesn't really work too well. Sometimes a notification comes in, you take your phone up and it doesn't really bring up the notification straight away. You have to shake it up sometimes. Even then, it still doesn't work, right? Alright, now the final thing, it's really just me nitpicking, but it doesn't have partial screenshots. Now, this is something I got used to on the Lineage OS where I could take a partial screenshot of my screen. However, this doesn't have it and for me, it's kind of disappointing. But this ROM has tons of ways of taking screenshots. It's the most I've seen on any ROM before. It actually has four ways of taking a screenshot. The first way is the traditional way where you hold on the volume and the power button. The second way is when you long press the power button and then click on the option to take a screenshot. And the third way is by going to the quick settings menu and actually clicking that screenshot button. And the fourth way is by using three fingers to slide down on the screen to take a screenshot. How awesome is that? Now this brings me to the pro side of things, alright? Now this ROM, as I said before, is really, really customizable. It has tons of ways of customizing your phone, really making it unique. And if you're into stuff like that, then you would definitely love this ROM, alright? It also supports the Substratum theme engine. Now if you haven't seen the video on that, make sure to click the link right here or in the video description below. And in that video, I showed you guys how I installed themes using the Substratum theme engine as well as five free themes that you can get straight from the Play Store. Now another feature that I liked about this ROM has to do with customization as well. It's pretty simple but I really did like it and not all ROMs have it, alright? It's being able to have those special headers in your notification bar. And for me, I have dynamic headers so it changes throughout the day which I really think is pretty cool and maybe you guys might think so also, alright? Now another thing that I really like about this ROM is that it's very organized. If you want to look for a particular feature or how to do something specifically for this ROM, you can easily find it as everything is pretty much laid out in the Pure Nexus settings. Also, this ROM doesn't come with a lot of bloatware which I really do appreciate because with some ROMs, it gives you a ton of apps that you actually don't use and I have to go and disable and all that stuff, right? So I do like that about this ROM. It's pretty light and it just gives you the basic and then you add whatever you want using the GFs afterwards. Now the final feature that I really really love about this ROM is that it has built in a Google Assistant. Oh my gosh, can I tell you, that was just the one that sealed the deal for me. I was like, okay, boom, I'm loving it right now. And it also has a swipe left feature, so all my Google Now cards are there, which is pretty much how I get all my news feed. Also, it has the Pixel Launcher on there, which is, I think, probably a part of the GApps. I'm not quite sure. But it's there, it's working, and the Google Assistant works flawlessly. So when everyone else was doing all sorts of voodoo magic trying to get Google Assistant to work on their phone, I already had this ages ago, alright? So yeah guys, that's pretty much it on my review for this ROM. I hope you guys liked it, I hope it was pretty much in depth. And those were all the things that I liked about it, and some of the things that I didn't. If you have some stuff that you liked, or if you think I left something out, let me know in the comment section below. As always, my name is Duck Coin and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Z.